and welcome to this video. If you've made it to this video because of the title of the video, which is about this bike having gear shifting issues, then we're gonna talk about that right now. If you're one of my regular subscribers, you're gonna have to wait a little bit to find out more about this bike and why I have it. What I have in my possession here is a 1983 Honda Shadow VT750. The issue that I'm having is that this bike was stuck in first gear. So initially, the previous owner believed that it had something to do with the master cylinder, the clutch master cylinder. Hound of Shadow has a hydraulic clutch, so this was leaking from the piston um, in the master cylinder, and so the fluid would literally just leak out, and so they thought that because it wasn't building pressure, it wasn't shifting right. Well, definitely not the case. They had a replacement, which I've put on. It doesn't leak, so I pumped up the system so that the it pushes the push rod and actuates, disengages the clutch. So I tried shifting it into first and the shifter got stuck in first gear. I know there's a lot of shifting issues with this motorcycle associated with the Honda Shadows. So if you are somebody who has the same issue that you shift it down into first and now it won't it won't go into neutral, it won't go into any other gear, it's completely stuck. Uh, this is the fix for it. I'm just going to walk you through a little bit what I've done and I'm also going to put a link to a forum of how to fix this. It's not the clearest thing, so I just wanted to explain and make a video because I haven't been able to find any videos on this exact repair. I'm going to throw a picture up right now of the two gear shift spindles and where they meet. All this repair requires is that you pull out the gear shift spindle B which is going to be on underneath the right hand cover of the motorcycle engine and you realign it with gear shift spindle A, the two teeth uh, line up, you just put them together. What happens is those teeth become unaligned and so then the shifter gets caught up and it can't shift. So this repair is actually not too costly, it's actually pretty cheap to do. All you're going to have to do is get yourself some new gaskets and some fresh oil. The only thing that's going to cost is time. In order to get this right hand side cover off, you're going to have to remove the subframe. In order to get the subframe, you're going to have to pull off your foot peg. And then after that, you have to pull off the exhaust pipe. I also had to pull off the radiator guard. This bike also had some engine guards on it attached to the front frame mount. I've got the bike supported by a jack just a bit because I did have to remove the subframe which is attached to the front motor mount. This entire clutch basket, this whole piece is going to have to come off. 27 millimeter nut. You just pull off the snap ring pliers and pull everything out. Make sure to put it back in the order because it does have to go back in a specific order. You should also look up a manual. I will put a link to the manual in the description. That's the spindle right there. Um, this oil line's in front of it. It does make it really, really fiddly in order to pull it out and get it lined up again, but it can be done without removing that oil line. And then there's the plate right there and that actuates the drum, if I'm not mistaken. You're gonna have to literally get on your belly if you don't have a lift, which is what I did. You can look in between the gaps here, and maybe I can get the camera to focus and look on the inside in there. You'll be able to see where they meet, and I'm not gonna be able to get it because I'm at a weird angle. You might also be able to look through this hole that's right here. You'll be able to look if you get a little flashlight and look at your own engine. But all you're gonna have to do is, like I said, uh, realign those teeth in there, push the spindle all the way in, and then uh, to test it, you do have to reassemble the clutch, put it all back together, and then test it, and it worked. I ran it through all the gears. It shifts fine, it's a little bit hesitant to go into first, um, but it does go into first. I literally just got the gasket engine gasket set today. There's a website 4into1.com. They have it for uh, about $60 shipped. Complete engine gasket rebuild kit. So like I said, if you are having the same issue, your bike is stuck in first gear. This is the fix for it, or at least something that you can try before you decide to completely remove your engine and split it apart and look at your shifter forks. So for my subscribers, uh, welcome back to another video. I Sorry, I wanted to get all that out of the way for people who are looking up this video solely on the issue. Nobody really wants to hear all my jarbon and gibbly goobly bop about my channel and bike and whatnot. They want to know how to fix their bikes. 
So what I have here, like I said, I picked up a 1983 Honda Shadow VT750. Totally super badass, old school looking bike. <laughs> I really, really like the look of this bike. Back when I wanted to first get a motorcycle, this was the look of the bike I wanted. And of course everybody was like, oh please don't get an old bike. It's not gonna run right. You're gonna have issues, older bikes. Which, what do you know? Hey, it's got issues. I paid uh, just a couple hundred bucks for this bike. I did not spend a lot because it has issues. And it also has back fees. So this bike has about $800 in back fees. Oh, no. Whatever. Really awesome seat. It is shaft drive. It sounds awesome. I wish I could start it right now, but I don't have any oil in it because I drained out all the oil so that I could fix it. And I had to wait for all the gas kits, which came today. So as you can see, my note, no oil. You always do this when you're working on bikes. You wanna make sure you put a little note there that says, hey, there's no oil in this, don't start it. <laughs> this bike only has, this bike, this bike only has 16,147 miles, which I think, you know, for a couple hundred bucks, it's a pretty good score. Pretty good score, guys. So that's pretty much it for now. Just wanted to post this video as an update and to also let people know the fix on the bike and the bandit. Bandit's doing good, still riding the bandit around. My last video I talked about being in Wrench Wars. Filmed that, went down to LA. That was freaking awesome. Shout out to the uh, J brother JD and uh, Lexi, his wife, for being just kick ass people with a kick ass team. Um, making that all possible. I can't wait to show you guys future videos on this. I keep making uh, updates and such. Hopefully this helped somebody out there. Somebody somewhere has the same shifting issue that I had on this bike that previous owners could not figure out on this bike. Hopefully you're one of those people that it helped. And uh, if it does work, let me know. I'm very excited to continue to help people and push more knowledge. Communities gotta help each other. We gotta keep each other, keep each other's bikes running, especially cool old school bikes like this. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.